I am very excited for this. For a while, I've been toying with the idea of doing a real-time playthrough of Persona 4 Golden. And today, we're finally here, April 11th, day one in the Persona 4 Golden game. So we're going to be starting off and trying to play through this through the next 344 days. So I hope you guys stay, stick with me. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So I will be doing a new game plus just so all of the stats, all of, you know, there's different stats like confidence, bravery, stuff like that. We're going to be loading a save that has already been completed. That way we get those maxed out from the beginning. Social links, they restart though. So yes, I would, wait, okay. Yes, I would like to use the clear data. As I was saying, would you like to clear the data? I'm like, no, don't delete that. So I'm going to be playing on normal. That's the intended difficulty, so we're going to go with that. And yeah. So one thing, though, let me check real fast. We'll be naming our character. Well, I'll let this cutscene play out. Velvet Room. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? All right, so I was wanting to look up the name for the... For the canonical name for the protagonist, just to make sure that's accurate. And real fast though, let me switch or let me switch over and just open the stream in the on my second monitor. There we go. Now getting back to it, we're gonna do Naru Kami. There we go. And yes, I would like to proceed. Hmm, I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Do you believe in fortune telling? Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon in the upright position. This card represents a hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery 
will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is <laughs> yeah, First he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect. Hey, over here. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Huh. You probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know? This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Hey. You drop this. Whatever. 
All I did was pick it up. What's wrong? Hi, welcome to Mall. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? It's in the back, to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. The city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, I should get back to work. Are you okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. What's wrong? You okay? That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. All right, so I very quickly wanted to change one setting. Oh, okay, it's okay. So, I'm gonna make it so that the voice lines, they automatically continue, auto text, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna turn that on, and yeah. So I'll go ahead, oh there's the girl we met at the train station. Hmm, have we met before? I met you just now. Just now? Hmm, okay. The girl is thinking to herself. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll talk while I'm playing the game. Uh, I'm gonna save, the save data for this will be lucky number 13. So, we'll use that for this playthrough. So, yeah, I'll go ahead, I'll show only the cutscenes when it's like an anime, animated cutscene. Otherwise, I'll stay, stay in my little box up here in the corner and uh, talk, add some commentary to it. So we got the bookstore, fairly empty. I guess green's not so popular. A fierce looking man is single-mindedly pounding on something in the back of the store. I'm hoping it's a sword or some type of metal. You decide not to enter. It's the Maruku's Tokyo shop. An old woman is tending to the store. Hmm, you have something to do in the shopping district. It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day, but we only see regulars nowadays. If only Eunice hadn't come into town. It's convenient, but it's a little sad. Alright, lady. Hey, do you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Well, I'm going to work. See ya. What? I was really looking forward to eating it. They seem to be having a sibling dispute. We should leave them be. And she sounds pretty rude. No. Not much to... Not much of a loss if anything happens. A variety of product lines the shelves. Oh, a variety of products line the shelves. A friendly looking old lady sits behind the counter. Let's see what these guys got to say. Mm-hmm. I like this shop. It's very nice. 
It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. Alright. So we can't go too far. Jojima is waiting for you. You shouldn't wander too far off. So let's go back and... You know, I'm tempted. Like, generally, I would save again just to be safe, but I don't think there's really any need to. Uh, are you okay? Nanako seems worried about you. So, let's go ahead and talk to Toji. How are you feeling? Ready to get back in the car? I'm ready. Alright, let's hit the road then. During events, press back log button to see the log and skip event button to skip the event entirely. So for this playthrough, I won't be skipping any events or dialogue. I'm going to let it play out, make it really convenient for you. If you have never played it before, you'll get to see everything in this game. You arrived at the Dojima Palace. For the next year, this place will be your home. All right, let's have a toast. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Seems a little optimistic that's gonna be nice to have me, because I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna be a menace. You don't know me. Although, I do want to max out the social links. Yeah, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be pretty lovable, not gonna lie. <laughs> Come on, there's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. Hey, don't blame me, I just got here. Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm hmm. Yeah? I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. Can I I eat don't know his? how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. For this week. I feel like Next, normally they either say the, the car starting sound or what it actually sounds like typed in out. From the west. It's interesting Expect to see both. Throughout the day tomorrow in most no, this areas. game always goes but like Let's uh, eat. one step further. You don't slack off on anything around here. All right, I guess I gotta talk to this one kid for now. I feel like that'd be weird to like meet someone for the first time and they just go, it must be tough. Sounds so ominous. He investigates stuff, like crime scenes. My dad's a detective. Now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until so allegations right. of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. You turn the TV At on. At every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. I like how she watches the news and she's like, oh, this is boring, eat? an affair, blah. And then she's like, oh, a commercial? All right. Now we're talking. So let's see what else we got. We got the fridge. Okay, I opened it. There's some fried rice. I mean, might as well. 
So eating, eating. No taste at all. Huh. Because it isn't used very often, the kitchen is organized. If there were ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. Well, I had some fried rice, but I kind of already ate all of it. So let's go ahead and talk to Nanako. Oh, um, she's at a loss. <laughs> we should leave her alone. The game feels like I'm, it's like, hey, you're being a little bit of a creep. Like, it's time for me to step in. So there's a quiz show on TV. And right now, I uh, can't, I'm tired from the long trip. I shouldn't be walking around outside. I'm tired. Oh. Oh. With the auto text, it includes when you... Oh. Normally, it includes when you press A. I guess it accidentally double tapped A. So it was like, hey, if you don't go outside... Okay, close the message and then immediately tried leaving the door again. Like I'm a cat that can't take a hint. So this is actually surprisingly quick. It's going to be the end of day one. So I was planning originally to save, like start the next day and then get to a save point and that's when I'd wrap it up. With day one, when you go to bed, the next day it automatically starts you going through story-based conversations and everything. So it's kind of we save before you go to bed or we have to save in like the afternoon at school. So I'm gonna go ahead and just save right now. And then tomorrow we will pick up on April 12th. So this is day one, you know, not a super eventful one, but you know, when you take 80 hours and spread it across 344 days, not every day is going to be super eventful. But if you're watching this, I appreciate you taking the time to tune in and check this video out. Hopefully this is the beginning of a very long series that hopefully we'll get to the end of one day. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.